Welcome to MDR, Managed Detection and Response from Cisco, an industry-leading threat detection and response solution that significantly improves your security posture. Let's get started with a glimpse into the customer portal for this powerful security suite. The homepage is the one-stop location for monitoring and configuring your MDR system. The top bar menu gives you access to various functions, which we'll briefly explore later. But first, notice here on the homepage the Incidents widgets, which prioritize tickets according to their immediate risk and urgency for mitigation. Priority 1, red. Priority 2, yellow. And Priority 3 and 4, blue. Most critical is the section directly below P1 Incidents. It lists all the incidents awaiting customer action. Users may take automated response actions from within the ticket to immediately contain or mitigate the threat. These tickets remain on hold until action is taken or the incident has been resolved. To the right is the Security News and Alerts section, an RSS feed with the latest threat advisories and other cybersecurity information. The News and Alerts section is a feed of Cisco services updates and advisories such as new services or product offers. The central bar has three quick links to the three most used sections. First, let's look at the service dashboard. It provides a live interactive view of all MDR activities, key incident details, threat detection and response actions, and more. Clicking on any one element enables you to drill down into a list view with specific details on the selected metric and the status of each incident. Let's briefly look at what each one does. The first widget displays incidents in order of priority, from critical to low risk. The next widget, current threats by category, is a graphic representation of the number and percentage of threats targeting your company. The products involved in detection widget displays the incidents detected by Cisco security technologies utilized by the Cisco MDR service. The products involved in response widget provides a view of which Cisco security products have been utilized via automated response actions against the detected threats. Incident state trending displays the number of incidents trending over time in an environment by state, including new, in progress, and resolved events. The final widget, Cyber Threat Kill Chain Trend, displays how far along a threat was able to progress in its life cycle before it was detected. Let's detour back to the home page for a quick look at the other menu items and what they offer. Create an Incident opens a new service request ticket to quickly engage with Cisco's security operations team. There are several optional ticket types that can be created here to quickly address the request. Any priority one or two security incident request should be directed to the SOC via phone call for immediate engagement. On the next menu item, the Product Portals link, you can cross-launch into the MDR component products, AMP for endpoints, Threat Grid, Stealth Watch Cloud, Umbrella, Cisco Threat Response, or CTR, and the Talos Incident Response Information and Contact page. The Customer Service Catalog provides a list of request items that can be created for support, feedback, and inquiries for information. The Reports Center is where you can view or download incident reports, including dashboards. As you might expect, the Contacts link has a reference list of your company-specific customer and partner contacts. And the support link contains specific articles related to support for the NDR components and inquiries about the MDR service. Back on the home page, the search bar in the center allows you to look for incidents by number, threat indicators, or other key information within an incident or request. This has been but a glimpse into what the MDR customer portal offers. For more information, please visit our online documentation at this address. Cisco MDR. Improve your security posture with industry-leading managed detection and response. For more information and in-depth instruction, visit the Resources section of the Cisco Customer Experience page.